Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. And as I said, we'll be back tomorrow, yesterday, and we are back. And it's a normal. I, I mean, I mean, I talked about it. Um, was it last week or the week before that? Um, I caught a chance for news, and it was Yobi, a uh, UK. If I should it, UK. Kobe Yashi um, was very close to joining Celtic. Things were agreed. He would be joining Gar in, in Celtic in uh, England, Glasgow in January. That has come true. Celtic today announced that about 12 o'clock today, Celtic are delighted to announce the signing of Japanese defender UK Kobe Yashi in a, um, a five year deal subject to international claims. UK will officially join the club on January 1st, 2023. Um, now, let's read a bit about what he. Um, so he, he's 22 um, and he's hugely excited talent. And you joined from J League Club, uh, if you saw Kobe in a five year deal, we'll be able to join the new Celtic teammates from December 1st. Uh, with Elgil to play in com competitively once the registration window opens in January 2023. You can play in, you know, the games that are not officially, you know what I mean, registered game, if you know what I mean. Um, let's get into what the manager says and what um, and, uh, the UK, of course, says. So it says, uh, you'll be able to job up while speaking to Celtic. He says, I'm so excited to be joining Celtic and I'm really um, looking forward to this wonderful opportunity. I'll be given everything to try and be successful with the club. Um, because let's say right across the world, everyone knows what a special club Celtic is. And it will be a real honour to wear the, the fantastic jersey. It goes on to say, the work of Ange Pascal is also really well known in Japan after they had such great time in the J-League. And as well, we've been part of Celtic. I can't wait to work with him as a coach and the great team of players. Players you've already developed. I know Celtic um, over so many years, such such a brilliant track there of success, and I want to play a part in that uh, to the club. Um, it goes on to say, I would like to thank Bishop Kobe sincerely for their support and giving to me a part of my career. And I look forward to embracing the exciting challenge of Celtic, one of the world's greatest Celtic uh, football clubs. He can play. Um, left back and left centre back, so it's ideal. Within um, with each end going off, we don't know. Probably it wasn't a much injury that, uh, but you know, just to add depth to that centre back role and obviously left back now as well. So it's it's adding up now. The squad depth is really good, and we've got El talk about early doors. Early doors. I mean, come on. <laughs> um, November twenty third. That's something else, isn't it? Uh, that is something else. Um, Ange Postecoglou said he's delighted with the signing. He believes that. He believes in uh, UK Celtic have acquired an all very good young player with plenty of experience and potential. He says, we're very pleased with case someone we've been following for a while and it's a great opportunity to bring him in. He's a left-sided centre-back um, and they're hard to find. Of course, that, you know, they're very difficult. I speak on the channel before, we need, really need one like that because we would play it from the back. As I say, about Starfield and all that. Uh, I just don't fancy him that way. Like, if Starfield played the other side, it's tough now because obviously he's come in, it's very tough now to decide who's going to play. You know what I mean? Um, he's still young, but he's already had three or four years of senior experience, and he's very keen to come across and test him in Europe. I think we saw last year that bringing in guys nice and early gives opportunity to bed them in, which we saw by that attack. You know what I mean? You, you know, uh, Gucci we kind of saw not much of his injury, but you know we'll probably see that soon. Um, in that sixth month period in the second half of the season, and we're really looking forward to having him as part of the group. He's a He's at a really good age where he's at, um, had some great experience with some great potential ahead of him. Uh, he's a good young man who wants to have a real crack at it here in Europe. And for us, it's a great opportunity to invest in a young player. So, that is pretty much um, the signing of him. UK Kobayashi, he's a left-sided centre-back. He can also play left-back, I wouldn't imagine. So, I'm just saying... He will not be playing left back with Greg Taylor and Bernard Bay there. Um, a wee bit of Ange says on one of the signs. It's fair to say there's a couple lined up. Well, he's already got one in. I lined up, but got done, dusted. Uh, so we've done things and how I believe we need to be. And we'll, we'll definitely be stronger. I've said this. Um, it was a, the difficult period for us. We've just, um, we've just been through, no doubt. We'll be, we'll be stronger. We already have been uh, signing UK Kobayashi, who will join the club officially on January 1st, 2023. So, uh, if you enjoyed that quick short video, guys, discussing the new signing for Celtic, the left sided centre back, Kobe Yubiashi. I'm going to mess his name so much times. Um, Kobe. Kob oh, of course. Uh, it, like, the players are we're getting in, which is. They're, they're, they do really look good at potential, and I've seen a few couple of videos of them. Uh, they look really good, the names, but. UK Kobayashi, that's the name. There we go. Um, if you have enjoyed that, please like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys um, maybe tomorrow for another video. Um, but I'll see you guys um, during the week, the rest of the week for another video.